first thing in the morning. Boys are eating breakfast. Say hello, boys. Is it on a thousand steps a day? You think I can do it? No. Thanks for your support. Appreciate it. As you can see, it's a very misty day. The reason I'm doing this walk, Prostate Cancer UK uh, put up this sort of challenge, if you like, this campaign to do 11,000 walks a day, which is not much really. It's a couple of decent walks around the village probably. But it's a few reasons. One, it gets me off my backside. It gets me actually doing something. Because I was thinking, you know, I've got two boys and Rachel at home and imagine if they came home one day and the difference between getting told that there's something wrong with daddy. Well, this could be anyone, you know, brothers, sons, dads, grandpas, uncles, friends, and being told that there's nothing you can do about it. Or being told that Prostate Cancer UK and other like-minded charities are there to support us and get us through it. This is the Trans Pennine Trail. We've just come from up that way somewhere. Are we we'll going this way? Who knows? Maybe we're we'll going nowhere. So what I figure is, these aren't for cyclists. These are for people with a big ass like mine. If you can get through, you can go. I'm joking, of course I can get through. 10,714, Shay's gonna help me get to 11,000. I'll follow you around. Go, go, go. I have to go where you go. Look at this mess in here. Keep going. 11,000! You did it! I did it! People got more than 11,000. That's good! So 11,000, thank you everybody who sponsored day one. See you on day two. Day two, no walk this morning. I'm making the breakfast, so I'm gonna have to try and fit it in somewhere else. All the milk comes from Stuart's farm. So I was thinking that I'm doing 11,000 steps a day. Dave Stewart, our farmer, shout out Dave. He probably does 11,000 steps, just getting out of bed in the morning. Cooking with the eggs and the milk from Dave's farm. I think this afternoon my little trip will be, we'll have a walk up to Dave's farm. Because yeah, Dave's farm is somewhere up there. Seriously, check out those molehills. Can you hear that? It's so exciting, these videos. Is this exciting? Up at Dave's farm, okay, Stuart and Sons, get your milk, get your eggs, get your potatoes, get your veg. He's our local farmer, so shout out to your local farmers. You're not interested. Tonight we're going out with a torch on the trail in the dark. I just heard the owl. Basically the Blair Witch. Josh! Josh! <laughs> Remember... American Wealth in London. Stay on the path, lads. If you see a guy with a torch out on the trail every night, please don't call the police. Day three, gotta admit today was one of those days I just wanted to stay in bed. It's another misty cold day in Oxbring. Remember that movie, The Mist? Frank Darabont film. They open a, a interdimensional portal and all those beasties come out, all those insects and giant creatures and things. Maybe, maybe, just saying. I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm kind of stuck in the office at home a bit, but I've got a secret weapon that I'm going to use. Combining steps and bass guitar. So we take one Warwick bass, take one step machine. This torch is super powerful. Look at that, going up into the sky. It's like I'm calling for Batman. Maybe I can get a donation a day, who knows? So, initially I said 100 pounds and we're, uh, we're up to two, 260 so far, which is just fantastic. 
I'll be seeing you for day four tomorrow. Night all. Day four, just about to go for a walk, and I've got Harry Potter here. He's going to give me a spell to help me on my way. Expelliarmus! Ah! When we, uh, myself and Rachel, came to look at moving to Oxspring, this walk I'm going on today was what sold it, really. All the way from Oxspring, we're going to walk down here, and it drops down into the valley. I remember taking Shay on this walk. He was a, when he was younger. He wanted to jump in every single muddy puddle. We counted 99 muddy puddles. I remember thinking, do you know what? Peppa Pig's got a lot to answer for. A little kissing gate. Does anybody still call them that anymore? If you close that and then you give the person on the other side a kiss. Mwah. Somebody that you can kiss, of course. I'm not advocating you just go kissing some dude or girl that's just walking on the, on the track. You know what, just forget it, just forget it. Stepping stones are clear. It's so nice in summer. <laughs> oh. Well, there's something coming up that always, always entertains the kids. You'll see. Today about going to the doctors and going checking your prostate is one thing, but imagine going to the doctors and telling him you've got a cheesy bottom. Oh, ow, shh. Okay, don't, ow, man. Don't film feet while walking. I'm gonna hit day five with a lot of time problems today. I don't know where I'm gonna fit all these steps in, but we're gonna give it a go. Turns out trip to the supermarket. Parking as far away as possible. About 2,000 steps. Got no time anywhere. Um, I'm gonna have to rely on the old step machine again, so uh, let's choose a weapon. Mini, 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 mo. I think the seven string Ibanez. <laughs> couple of thousand steps short, so I'm off out for a night walk again. Another day, more super generous donations. We've hit 520 pounds today, which is so, I'm, I'm just blown away by your generosity. No, I waited for that joke. All right, 11,000. It's day six, and someone's casting a spell on me, which is, what's the spell, Brody? Runny Fastius. Runny as Fastius. Not in Greenside Woods, uh, and, oh, <laughs> and I've just got bashed in the face with a stick. <laughs> so, I've got my crew here, they're gonna help me. We're on about 3,000 steps so far today. How many do you think we're gonna do today, guys? 100. More than that. 5,000. What's the total we're looking for today? 11,000. 11,000. You think we can do it? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. In lots of steps. You're doing a giant step. Go for it. Cannonball. Cannonball. Brody. Cannon ninja. Oh, cannonball. Cannon ninja. Yeah. Guys, a lot of people call this, where are we? The bomb hole. More what like you the call bomb it? hole. Oh. It's, it's the bomb hole. It's the bomb hole. Keep those steps going, Brody. It's over the style. Keep moving, Brody. Oh, yes. So, thank you so much. 580 pounds we're on now. It's mind blowing. It's crazy. Brody, get your stick out of my face. <laughs> what do you think is good about doing the walk and people donating money? What's good about that? We're spending money. No, we're not spending. It's not for us to spend. We found it. Keep going, keep going. It is, that's it. It's it, we found it. It's the bomb hole. Look at the size of that. Jump, 
Oh, what's it? No. Oh. You just did what Daddy did. Da, 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 da. We did it. Star. We did it, guys. Yeah. How cool oh. is that? Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Day seven. Rare opportunity to take a walk in the middle of the road because it's closed. So your boy here, who's 46 years old now, has just realized the wrong way that I can't actually vault over a five foot wall, farmer's wall, and I've just banged my knee. And it really flipping hurts. We're gonna jump up onto the trail and take you to the spooky railway tunnel. What do you reckon? I think they've shot my lug burner. By the way, everybody, the sun is out. Now let's see. Nice beautiful sunlight, children playing. Big scary dark hole tunnel. Nice beautiful sunlight. Big scary dark tunnel. Oh, I know, let's go in the scary dark tunnel. You can't have a private conversation in this tunnel, by the way. Bring the kids out of Halloween one day. Somebody's trying to scare me now. Tells me Hook Spring. Look, there we are. Is another two kilometres. Just find some cool places in your city. Go and find some, uh, find some little local spots. And it doesn't matter. Just keep your feet moving. And all I used to say is beat your feet. And you never know a place until you walk its streets. And when I've ever travelled the world, and I've been so many places in the world, you never really know it until you get off the track and just go and walk. Silver birch, 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 ha! There you go, Rachel. I know my treat. Not silver birch. Ha! There you sound of my treat. And yeah, we're over 600 pounds now, so see you next week on week two. Bye now. Day eight today, just starting with a walk to school, which is something that we haven't done for a long time. He's scooting, I'm walking. It's probably going to be the shortest video I've ever done because my knee is killing me. Sorry for a pretty uneventful video today. But I'm doing the right thing. Got a bit of an injury yesterday. Just trying to keep it calm today. Super. Day nine. And we are going on a little walk. I've got a helper. Here's Brody. Say hello. <laughs> ah! We're going to the magic woods, aren't we? And what's in the magic woods? Toys that come to life. Toys that come to life in the woods. Okay, let's go. People come and put toys in the woods, and it's just a little bit weird. And a little lighthouse. A little dragonfly. Oh, dragonfly. And a dragonfly. Very pretty. And I'm... Your skeleton. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're right! Look! Look! It's like Blair Witch. Ta-da! Hey, stop bashing my phone. <laughs> what did you think of the magic woods? Bad! <laughs> okay, we're about £635 now, so if I get a sponsor every day, how cool would that be? But thank you all for your support and checking off for the night. See you next day. Day, what are we on, day 11? Day 11. Is it day 11? By day 11, I do of course mean day 10. So as you can see, it's a bit rainy and it's a bit wet. So I'm just gonna go for a few little walks today. So I'm like 10, 11 days in, 10 days in, some of that. What's that, third of the way there? And I've hit that point. I'm sure many of you fitter people than me know where very busy today um, where I've actually started the legs don't bother me anymore you've kind of hit that point where like you know your feet don't hurt anymore the knees all better which is cool and uh, dare I say dare I say a slight little spring in my step this morning that okay let's do this I can I could probably go 10 miles today Obviously I don't stop at 11,000 steps. Save the rest of my day. Da, 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 da. 
So thank you so much. Off for tonight. Tomorrow is day 11, not today. It is day 11 and it is day 11 this time. Don't know what happened yesterday, I forgot where I was. We're gonna go through, through to the woods and head down to Springvale that way. It does get me thinking when I'm out on these walks with like the, the viaduct up here and where we went with the train lines yesterday. Uh, a couple of days ago through the tunnel on the trail. And the fact the trail itself used to be, you know, a train line that there's all these little touch points of of kind of history and of an industrial past of of like Penniston and Oxbring and all this area that you kind of don't get when you just drive past in the car. These little, tiny little uh, sort of captures of, of the past of the area that say you just don't get when you're in the car. Anyway, I'm probably rambling, but I just find it interesting when you're walking around to see these see these little places and we'll see it in the woods when we go through here, these little remnants of something that used to be built there and it's a real it's a real trip to the past that you, no matter all the craziness that's going on in the world right now, you think, you know what, we're just passing through. We're just this little speck of someone who'll be looking back at 2021 evidence, you know, in fifty, hundred years time and it's fascinating what you can see when you're out walking. Anyway, I'm rambling. But it's actually ramble and walk. Just walking through the woods, hoping it ain't gonna get too muddy because I'm not really wearing the right footwear for it today. Yeah, it is very, very muddy. I think I have taken a very wrong turn somewhere. Kind of went into some thick woods for some reason when actually there's a path there. Bit of problem. I don't know where I can get past. Are you the detour? Well, it takes a wet feet for the team. I think I may take wet feet for the team. Time this right, I'm in the right place. And I should be meeting Rachel Brody on the trail across the other side. Let's go see. Walking, 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 walking. Let's hope nothing gets in my way. Hey, what's this? It's a Brody. What are you doing, mister? So I'm getting my steps in, but this little man down here, what are you doing? You're getting daddy to pull you on the scooter. You're not even scooting. <whistles> Say thank you everybody who's donated so far and uh, I'll see you for day 12. This is what day 12 looks like. It's horrendous. I've got a bunch of online meetings today. So I think I might be on a step machine a lot today. It might be a boring video, but we'll see. It is actually snowing. The only opportunity uh, I've had is to use the step machine. I've been doing it while I've been on meetings. Uh, and last time I did that and had to just do steps all day, which I'd rather be out and about, but just time permits. Um, uh, I did get somebody that said that, oh, your bass wasn't plugged in last time you played bass. I'm going to hear the bass. So, okay. I've been playing bass, I plugged it in this time. for the day. Good morning, it is day 13. I'm looking for some, probably for me, because it's wet, windy and cold. It's just occurred to me, I don't actually know where I'm going. I've just come out and started walking. But we're in kind of Penniston direction. Just on a trail as always. Well, so I think I might just head down to Penniston and have a walk back. Oh, a robin. It is really cold and wet today. This is no fun! Just heading into Penniston, just coming off the trail. I've always noticed this. World War II tank ramp. Remember what I was saying the other day? About all these things you see when you walk in, these little touch points in history. Well, what do you know? It's right there. 
How oh, have I never seen this before? This was used in training of uh, tank crews for the D-Day landings. Uh, I had no idea, I just keep seeing it and it says tank ramp this way. Well, there it is, there's a tank ramp. Apparently, it used to start from here and there was a whole convoy used to head out all the way down Green Road and out onto the moors where they used to do the, the D-Day tank training. Amazing, again, you're not going to see this when you're driving your car. Massive shout out to Karen and the team over at Cafe Creme Peniston, which brought up with a nice cup of tea for the walk back, very cold. So if you're in Peniston, you need some cake, tea, coffee, whatever it is you want. Cafe Creme Peniston, head there. Thank you so much for your generous donation, Karen. As I say, anybody in Pediston, get yourself down to Cafe Creme and enjoy this on the way back to us. Silver Birch. Ha, got my trees. I didn't see the turntable on the way here, but heading back now, how could I miss it? Look at this. That's me after yesterday's video on one of the others about the guitar player. Uh, if you do need any guitar work, you can find me on Fiverr, that's F-I-V-E-R-R.com and just search my name. Done 10,000 steps by 11 o'clock, that's pretty cool. So I'll hit the 1,000 at some point. All right, the end of day 13. Uh, thanks once again to the Cafe Grem in Peniston. Uh, and thanks to everyone who's sponsored and supported so far. My legs are feeling a pinch today because I've been walking in wellies, bad idea. Uh, seeing you all for day 14 tomorrow, Mother's Day. Big props to all the mums out there. I'll give you a shout out tomorrow. Day 14, good morning, good morning, or evening, or afternoon, or whatever you are. For Mother's Day, shout outs to all the mums out there. And uh, don't know what I'm doing today, we'll find out later. Get some extra steps in chasing this blooming trolley away. Back, get back. Think about all this water is you can wash your wellies. How many steps are you going to do today? Uh, poo poo more. Poo poo more, that's not an answer. You said you want to be in the video. Poo poo. All right, poo poo. So now the boys have come to see the tank ramp. What we've got here is a whole bit of railway. Can you imagine train you used to pull up to here and spin round in here? Marvellous. Genuinely just shout to the boys, 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 there's a bit of the old machinery up here. They're probably going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah let's find out. Wow. Look at that. What's it from? I don't know. What do you think it could be? A tank. Can I go Oh, I don't know about that, Brody. So I've just been to the hairdressers, penis thing, got my hair done. in the kids' coat because you don't want to wear it. Yeah. Got to be honest, not digging it today. Brody, how deep is it? So deep. So deep. I even went over my wellies. It's gone over your wellies. Yeah. That sucks. How was the walk? Bad. Bad. Welcome to day 15 going to be a very short little video today because I'm not doing a whole lot outside because I'm busy with work. So we are halfway through. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. This is some days like yesterday you might see on a video you're getting a bit of a drag some days that like oh I've got so much to do I've got other stuff to do but it's all good so I'm doing it. We're halfway through. As you can see, oh sorry, welcome to day 16. As you can see, it's a beautiful day in Oxbring. Unfortunately, this beautiful, nice sunny day is wasted on me because I am so busy today. Oh dear. There might be a little gap opening up that I can go for a walk, but right now, I'm doing this. So I've had a few questions about guitar playing. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Gene Simmons out of Kiss called it an angry bee. Well, 
once described that to my wife as a racket. <laughs> Silly of me. A small opportunity for a walk has presented itself, so I'm taking it. What a difference it makes just to have the sun out, you know? Hang on, no, I've done 298,000 steps so far, not 165, so I'm well ahead of that. I'm still doing 11,000 a day. I'm not going to say, well, I've done them for the month. No, I'm still doing a day. So today I've started a welcome to day, what we're on day 17? Welcome to day 17, I've actually started with a video showing you that I've done uh, 11,000 steps. So what's that all about? Well, to be honest, I've been walking today and I've done some bits, but I just I didn't feel like putting the camera on. Um, I didn't feel like filming it. So I just thought, well, why not? I'll just have a day off where I don't do that, but I've still done the steps anyway. Oh, I've had one other thing. I've uh, been told if I can pat my head and rub my tummy at the same time then i will get another donation so uh i'm usually absolutely rubbish at it but let's give it a go okay so pat head rub no pat i'm rubbish at this pat pat my head oh hang on pat my head oh 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 that's it day 18 Here's Shay on his scooter, and we, oh, and we are just doing the school run. She always gets a few steps in in the morning. Come on, Shay. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do today. We'll find out. I don't actually know where I'm going today. Um, I think somewhere up in the fields, I think there's another path I've never been on. And I can see some dude walking on it right now. So wherever you are, do thanks for wearing a high vis. Good, so I'm gonna head up there and follow that path, I think. I'm really not feeling it today at all. I've been up since 3.30 this morning uh, when one of my boys woke up. I've never been back to sleep since. But hey, I figure that the people who maybe suffer from the things I'm raising money for they don't get a day off. So, why should I? So that's the discipline today. Oh. Oh, just coming home on the school run, and I think my watch has just beat 11,000. Yay, there we go, 11,000. Welcome to day 19. The end is in sight. Pretty uneventful walk to be fair. Just out of Springvale, back on the trail, heading home. This is why you get shots of my feet walking, because there's nothing else to tell you today. Oh, lost it. Oh well, yeah, squirrel. Well, I'm on the school run and just topped 11,000. Welcome to day 20 and I've started my day with this little guy chasing me around the house to get me a couple of thousand steps in. Oi, I can see you. Yeah. Ah, no! No! Get out! Get out! Ah. Uh, at a park at the top of Stocksbridge. Getting some steps in. You can increase your step count by having a child who gets all the way to the park and then goes, I didn't bring the basketball out of the back of the car. So you're going to walk all the way back and then all the way back. It's all good. Brody is taking me to his secret hideout, aren't you, Brody? <laughs> right behind you. How many steps have you done now? No. Lots. Okay. He's laying down. We're going for a spin. This will get us some steps in. Look. One, two, three, four, five million, six million, seven million. Welcome to day 21, flagging. So 
I've enlisted the help of a personal personal trainer for the day, Ian. Coming down some dodgy little back alley that Ian's took me on here. I didn't want to say on mate, but yeah. <laughs> knows all the local spots. He's taking me up hills. Just to remind me how unfit I really am. So we're into bird nerd territory. We'll go for a dip. You first. If I go halfway and can't be arsed, I'll jump in. So we were there where we saw the ducks and we got on. So we've done a walk down this side. Look at that water though, it's absolutely perfect today. Look at that Ian, absolutely perfect today. So now we're gonna walk back up that way. Did actually ping 11, oh you can see it there. 11,600 on that one walk, it's not even lunchtime. Buckle guide Ian, and I'll see you for day 22 tomorrow. Day 22, I have back to back meetings all day. This is gonna be a really boring video for you. Just about to hit 11,000 steps, but I've literally been in my office all day. Oh, just pink. Welcome to day 23. Just having a morning walk on the school run. Got the scooter, which everyone always seems to think is mine. It's apparently a try and dress like a 14 year old kid. Well over 800 pounds now. I've only got, what, a week and a day left. So in a complete anti-climax, I've just hit 11,000 steps for the day while uh, putting children's laundry away in cupboards. Rock and roll. Uh, but yeah, 400,000 steps, pretty good going so far. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for day 24. Welcome to day 24 and I've got my little helper Brody with me today. He's scooting. I'm walking. Seven days left. And the hot news is that I really need a haircut. Normally, I would get down here and I would make a turn and go under the uh, under the trail. But I think I'm gonna head up, just up into the fields a bit. Shine into the fields and see if we can get sight of a badger or a fox or something. Or a mad axe murderer who's dressed in black. You can't see him. We shall see. Okay, first time this has happened, I'm on the trail. And there's another light heading down towards me. <laughs> this could be interesting. There was two lights, so I'm outnumbered. <laughs> but they disappeared. So there was these two lights coming towards me. Definitely two people. Flicking the lights around, I must have seen me. And then both the lights went off and then moved away to the side of the trail. Yeah, that was fun. Two lights coming towards me, disappearing into the side of the trail and turning off, and then can't see anybody or hear anything. I can now see the lights back on the trail. You're not going to see them behind me. There you go. Time. Welcome to day 25 and today is going to be a magical day and do you know how I know that? Because I've got Harry Potter with me. I want to take a moment to tell you about my Morel shoes. I used to go everywhere in them, I've travelled the world in them. Jamaica, Paul, South Africa on the shark boats in the mountains, St. Petersburg, everywhere around Europe. 100% flat out the best walking shoes ever. So they finally fell apart and I bought another pair, which I'm currently wearing now. But yeah, man, real shoes. Doing the business for me once again. These will probably last me another 10 years. So yeah, that Cuba one alone, what a, what a trip to say you've done wearing one pair of shoes. A pair of shoes to me, I pretty much traveled the, uh, the route that the, Revolutionaries took from the south straight up to Havana over several months while I kept stopping and doing some work on farms and blagging my way across. But say so you did that with one pair of shoes. It was a sad day when I had to get rid of those because they fell apart. But hey, got these now, got more adventures. But Rachel says go up there. Looking good at the stepping stones. 
genuinely spurred on by the donations and the support that I'm getting. Who's down here? Hey pigs. And I thought you two were on someone's breakfast plate because I haven't seen you for so long. Wowzers. Chatsworth with Rachel. We saw a cow walk up to another cow basically just crap all over its face. And it just stood there. This mass pile of crap coming down on this cow's face and it just stood there like, yeah, whatever. Oh, hello. Hello. Here you go. Welcome to day 26. It's really windy, so I hope you can hear me. Bit of an odd one today, because I'm, uh, I'm actually out doing some work and there's very little opportunity to get any walks in. So while I've just had half an hour, 45 minutes here, right next to a busy dual carriageway, um, I just thought I'll just have to take off and have a walk. So it ain't very pretty. It's not a very pretty video today, I'm afraid. There's a couple of little trails and things, but it's still not very pretty. I've seen some grim stuff down there that I'm not even going to tell you about. Super grim. I'm turning round. I'm going back. I'd rather do a step machine than walk past some of the some of the filth I've just seen down there. So, hey, got a few steps in, but no, thank you. Uh, oh, I've got a smell up my nose from things I've just seen that I don't think I'm going to get rid of for a week. So absolutely disgusting what some human beings are capable of anyway let's get back to some prettier stuff let's go back to Oak Spring step machine again I'm afraid just no time playing guitar while doing a step machine is actually a lot more difficult than you think <laughs> School run just about to hit 11,000 steps any second. I should just tell you that this video is super windy and super noisy. A bit like this guy. So some oh, sometimes you won't be able to hear what I'm saying on this video. An errand to run in Stocksbridge. And then I'm gonna head up to Bolster Stone. Just come up to the village of Bolsterstone. I used to do a walk here and I haven't done it for ages. Sun's out, it's really cold. Forgot my gloves. Postman Pat, Postman Pat. Hello. I forgot just how windy and cold it gets up here. That was a muddy field. I can see light. We're at the end. My feet are wet. But hey, it's morels, man. Kicking it, doing the business for me again. Stop laughing, it's just a tiny step. You might be funny, don't you? Oh, now down at Springvale Garden Centre. <laughs> okay, let's go to the pond then. Yeah, come on. All right, we're at Springvale Garden Centre. And check out the pond and see what's happening. Here's the pond. We have a leech. It's on my thumb. No. It is. Yeah. It's crawling yeah. on me. Yeah. Look. Don't let it crawl. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, I, well, I don't know. A water boatman. A huge oh, one. Goodness, that is a big one, isn't it? It's huge. Good one. I'm going to put it back. My dash reception is called Newt. Show me, show me, show me. Oh, my goodness, you have as well. That's a big one. Hold it over Good newt. Anyway, bye for now. Oh, Brody. <laughs> Boys and girls, good morning. Welcome to day 28. Uh, the big news today is I left my Fitbit off. It's a schoolboy error. Anyway, today we are taking a walk up in some woods. Can't remember what it's called. It's not a particularly pretty walk in the winter, kind of 
well we're spring now but bear trees a lot of mud a little bit barren looking is that a bulb what is that oh, this big bulb goes in there Unless it's come from up there not creepy at all oh boy a friend who i call the batman because he knows about bats but up here is actually this tiny gap here the right time here you actually get rats nests up there and he knows what he's talking about because he is of the batman there's a big big pond up here and here is the pond several years ago went out and shot a documentary in south africa about cage diving with great white sharks one of the things that prior to going out and diving with great white sharks is I've often told many people my fear of water so my fear of water came from a book that I actually read when I was a child which was about some big pond with a giant turtle underneath there was a big pond like this and in the bottom of it was this giant turtle that used to come up and I think it used to eat people but I spent decades terrified of open water What are you doing? Use a secret weapon on me. This is a secret weapon. This is a secret weapon. Yeah. What? You're burying me alive in the covers. Yeah. No. Yeah. Day 29. You can see the sun. Where are we? As well, it's truly out. Just enjoying some nice peanut butter. How rude of me to eat while I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. We will hit half a million steps today. Windy to tell you anything today. It's really, really windy today. You're making all this wind. Ah. It is really windy. Anyway, Brody's here on his bike. He's chasing me. This will get me some steps in, won't it, Brody? Ah, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Just done for the month of March. A half a million steps, Brody. What do we say? No. No. What do we say? You were going to cheer for me. Oh, great. That's all I get. Yeah. No. Shay is going again. Go on then, Shay. No. All right. Good work, Brody. Near the echo. Say something, Brody, loud. Whoa. So not only does Shay's shoes light up, get on your scooter, shows the wheels. Scooter lights up. Whoa. Hit half a million steps today. Super, super stoked about that. Wasn't the goal, but did it anyway. And um, and the thanks I got was uh, Brody blowing a raspberry in my face. Boom! Welcome to day 30. One more day left after this. We are at Glen Howe Park and Glen Howe Woods. It's always a great walk, especially when the weather's nice. Water, forest. Hills to climb. So yesterday we hit half a million steps. And I'm proud to tell you today with a day to go. We've also hit a thousand pounds. Thank you everybody who sponsored. We've got a day to go. Kind of hit all targets. So I can just walk now. Thank you everybody. So generous of you. Now this bridge, I remember. I'm having a great picture taken on here with me, Rachel and the boys. Such a nice place going now. Think that's it on my lad there. I made that then. New Year, Christmas Eve. I built that den with the kids. Never a sound you could get tired of. I've got 
few steps needed. So these boys want me to tickle them. So it's tickle time. <laughs> That's the only place you're safe on the trampoline. <laughs> Done for the day. Welcome to day 31. Uh, when I first made that video, the first one, on a misty walk through Oxbring, day 31 seemed like such a long way away. Um, and it was, but hey, 11,000 plus steps a day, over half a million, and um, a thousand, over a thousand pound raise when I only wanted a hundred pounds. So many generous people I'll be thanking later, for sure, in a bit of a roll call. Uh, but I'm, I've gone a little bit further afield today and I'm on, in the village of Emily. A little walk around something very big. There's something up here that dominates the skyline. Well, today looks like being a super warm day. It's coming up on 1,100. I only won 100 pounds for this little endeavor. So I'm pretty stoked. We've done really well. I want to thank all you guys for supporting me. I can see the thing that I'm here to see. I can't really hide it anymore, but I'll show you in a second. So I'm up here in Emily because there's a thing on the hill right at the top that you, many of you'll know from traveling this part of the world. Locals will obviously know it, but there is a giant tower. Now where you are, driving around these parts, walking, if you get a clear view of the hills, you will always see the Emily Moor mast. And at night you'll see it light up too. Just coming into a clearing here, and oh, I can still see the tower. Whoa, and people actually do go up to the top of there. Some fascinating videos of what that looks like inside with a big elevator shaft. But it's always something that fascinates me. The kids love it as well. The kids love coming up here for a look. Silly as it sounds, because it's just a, you know, a TV and data tower. But it always reminds me of my favorite movie of all time like ever, like without a doubt, is Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the movie I grew up on. And obviously in that film, they, uh, all these people who keep having these visions and things keep heading towards Devil's Tower, Wyoming. While this is certainly nothing as spectacular as Devil's Tower, Wyoming. It's just that idea that there's this, this thing on the landscape, you know, this huge point that you can, you can kind of, gravitate towards and, and get direction from and uh, and you get that a little bit closer and you can see it up on the hills and then you get a bit closer a bit closer and before you know it you're right on it and it's flipping huge well i've hit my uh, eleven thousand steps to the day done over half a million and got over got over uh, eleven thousand pounds but these people here all these people on the screen here are why i keep sitting on my backside all day because people call you for these bloody teams meetings yeah you can all wave give a wave everybody there you go so yeah these are the people to blame for the size of my backside and what i've been sitting on my ass for a year <laughs> so say bye everybody so that's it 31 days 11,000 minimum steps a day. Um, do I feel better for it? Well, yes and no. Um, it, it's definitely got my off my backside, which is part of why I did it in the first place. I would say that I'm more I'm more surprised than anything about uh, with the level of support and all you many fine, generous people out there. Um, I just want to give a shout out to people who have sponsored so far and it's not just about sponsorship it's just generally the support that i've been getting as well but again if there's kind of one message i can give it's it's guys guys men sirs please uh, go and get the symptoms checked out at the prostate cancer uk website just to see if there's anything that you think could be a bit of an alarm bell ringing because i've had so many people now who've, who've kind of said oh yeah my my, unfortunately I lost my dad to this or my, my brother's had this or my uncle's had this or you know I was diagnosed and all sorts so guys please go and get it checked out 
we we know why a lot of men don't want to go to the doctors when you're talking about prostate cancer it's because of how you're going to get examined and things but really is it is it worth is it worth the pain of what you're going to go through if you don't go check it out and that's not it's like a scare story it just says catch it early if it is there might be nothing anyway there's lots of symptoms of prostate cancer that actually are not prostate cancer you know you could just be you know swollen prostate something like that but please go to prostate cancer uk's website thank you to prostate cancer uk for um sending out some of your materials there to work with and um and giving a giving a place where we can raise some money for research and um and generally share awareness of it so i have nothing more to say really it's a beautiful day outside i really enjoyed doing these walks i may do some more videos i don't know but i don't i'm not obliged to do the 11,000 steps a day anymore but i just want to say a heartfelt thank you to everyone thank you of course to my wife rachel and my children shay and brody who have not only joined me on some walks but also supported and tolerated me you know especially running out at night with a torch walking up and down the trail and and trying to fit in the odd half an hour here and then running out the door for a walk so as always thank you to, to Rachel, Shay and Brody. and uh, that's me done I'm going to sign off and say thank you so much so thank you everybody who's donated you can still keep donating it'll still be there and, um, and peace love you all